Okay, back for episode five. Whoa. All whoa, I've got to say is... Through the season. Freaking Hodor. Hodor. Hold the door. Hold the door. Dude, I was getting really kind of choked up there at the end. That was I was that was rough. I was extremely upset. That hit me right in the heart. I'm like, poor Hodor. I was I said that like ten times after the episode. I was like, poor Hodor. Like I'm I'm, I'm pretty sure, you know, he's done. It'd be great yeah. if we come back and he's not, but I'm pretty sure, yeah. you know. I mean, he was kind of getting ripped apart as we were watching it. But we, we learned his life mission was to hold the door. So it's, it's looking like Brand's kind of setting things in motion it with looks manipulating like time, just right? It ruined everybody's yeah. life last night. <laughs> no I mean, kidding. Brand having to grab that root, he couldn't be patient, just let the dude take his nap. Yeah. Let the three eyed raven take his nap and then go into, you know, back in time. You get to do time travel and see if you want to be patient. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, they could have chilled in that little cave for as long as they liked, and Brand had to go and screw everything up. Let me tell you this. Ruined Hodor's life. This episode has brought me clarity. I've learned in life all I want is for someone to look at me the way that uh, Tarman is looking at Brienne. Oh, he's all about it. Oh, yeah. man. he I mean, he's just everything short of... Mm. I mean, yeah. <laughs> oh, can you imagine whoopee time between them two? Ooh. Oh, it'd be a... It'd be a <laughs> you need a castle, right? A regular house couldn't contain that kind of rumble. <laughs> Who do you think would be more dominant, though? Because Brienne, I don't think she's letting anybody get on top. No, and no. And that dude, I mean... I, I really, I don't know. That would be a power struggle. She'll be, pe- be. she'll be pegging him from behind, uh, probably. Oh, uh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, pull my beard. Pull it. <laughs> Call me the bear fucker. Oh, jeez. Isn't that what he go? Isn't that what he's yeah, known for? He's, he's the he's the bear fucker for sure. Bear Man. like it like an animal or the uh, the epitaph for you know a big hairy gay guy. <laughs> <laughs> what, what kind of bear are we talking about? Either here? way, probably both. Either way, he's not to be messed with. No, as we know now. Lots of revelations in this episode. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we learned that getting, well, number one, we learned that genital herpes is alive and well in the Game of Thrones universe. <laughs> Two warts? Golly. Get yourself for that one of those lambskin condoms. I mean, straight up like dick shot. Yeah, it was, oh. it was pretty bad. But, uh, you know, something Theon and the eunuch, neither one have to worry about. That's true. But we learned that getting his winky cut off was probably the best thing that could have happened to the eunuch. According to the new um, Red Lady. Yeah, the new Red Lady. I would say the new Melisandre. I'd love to see them two get into it. Yeah. yeah Varys would one. probably be like a street juggler but she, if he she, hadn't got his junk cut off. Cut off. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was a great career move. Yeah, That's it's like you wouldn't, you wouldn't be here if it wasn't for, you know, you losing your cock. Yeah. But like, uh, and she tells him uh, about himself. Oh, yeah. That was spooky, right? Like, he was just like, oh, my God. Like, how do you know this? And he, he started getting kind of cocky. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, and like. Throwing it, you know, like, I don't really believe in your voodoo bullcrap. And she just kind of, like, backhands him. And he's like, okay. For you, knowledge is power, but there's so much you don't know. And he is never at a loss for words until last night. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was just like, oh, never mind. Mm -hmm. Uh, We see that um, at least Daenerys uh, has has ordered um, Uriah. How do you say his name? Uriah. Uriah. I never say it right. To go find a cure. So yeah. at least we know if he dies, he can die knowing that she's forgiven him. Yeah, yeah. And she, all is well. And he told her he confessed his love. Yeah, he really did. And I think I think that she loves him back to, you know, in some degree or another. Right. I mean, not like a, a bend me over this mountain mm-hmm. type way, but, you know, definitely a, a lo- like almost like a he probably loves her in that way. But I yeah. think for her, it's much more like a fatherly Type thing, you know, maybe I, brotherly or friendship, yeah. you know, maybe. I read some she's, speculation. She's friend him. That props. They're, they're like props. Jorah's going to lead an army of stone men. What would you think of that? Would that, that even would be, be possible? That would be great. That'd be cool. I mean, I thought they were more or less mindless, like rabid dogs, but that would be pretty wild. Well, see, I talked about this before in, in, our, in past episodes, how you know Shireen was able to be cured. Mm-hmm. So I really want to see Jorah's whole arm just become a, a stone, mm-hmm. and then. He'll Turn just, into the thing from like yeah, just his almost left like arm. almost like Hellboy with the with the, with the one big yeah. fist. <laughs> oh boy, that'd be awesome. Um, I like that though. Very touching moment between them. We saw a little tears, uh, you know, little tear action from Daenerys, yeah. and then you saw a lot of tear action from me at the end of this freaking episode. And can I? Hey, of course, we find out Hodor. So was that basically like the times were overlapping? Is what happened, right? I mean, yeah, like. I'm assuming that's kind of what happened because because Bran was hearing Mira Mm -hmm. in the vision and he was he also warped into Hodor in the vision. 
So I think him uh, warging into Hodor in the vision caused mm-hmm. him to have the seizure or whatever. Because mm-hmm. Brant's the, the, the conduit in the whole situation. Mm-hmm. It was so heartbreaking. It's almost like a paradox of sorts. Yeah. We know now, we were joking with Hodor as like the Hodor, you know what I mean? So, I mean, we were halfway right. Yeah, you were getting there. There we was were, a door. We, we saw two letters off. <laughs> we saw pretty much the start of the White Walkers, right? We pretty much saw the, what, the, how the they The children were of the forest. The children of the forest created them to fight men, which is pretty crazy. And now the children of the forest are helping men fight their own creation. Yeah. So what do you think made the uh, the White Walkers like revolt against the children of the forest? Because obviously they did something to piss them off. I guess, you know, shoving that, uh, that spike through the heart, that probably... Well, they, that, they weren't happy about well, that's that. Well, what, that's what created them uh, to begin with. But yeah. I think it's more like the thing of, hey, we're more powerful than you. You can't control us. Kind of like a Frankenstein type yeah. complex. Fra- you know, maybe so. Frankenstein's yeah. monster, you know, kind of like, hey, you know, yes, you created me, but I'm stronger than you. Mm-hmm. So to hell with you type deal. So does that mean like the last of these children are dead now? You think they killed the last of them? They're like the last um, of their kind? And they're all gone. Well, I don't, that'd be interesting to see. I know that, that pretty much every every one of them that was at that tree is, is dead. dead. Yeah, yeah no at doubt. least the last one went down like a champ. Mm-hmm. I mean, she was getting stabbed. Yeah, like, that was pretty brutal. Crazily, and then you know blew them up. But the White Walkers, man. I mean, they really are. It's, 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 we're just seeing more and more as we get into to, into the show how big of a threat they are. Everybody's fighting these internal wars, but not realizing that it's pretty much about to be everybody versus the White Walkers. And dude, like if you were Bran, would you walk through that horde of undead? Oh no, that, that I remember watching that, thinking, oh. God, this would be great in a horror movie. You know what I mean? It was just creepy. Yeah, walking through that. I would, yeah. I would, I would, I would have never, never done that. He didn't even cover himself in guts either. No, <laughs> we'll walk, a Walking Dead reference. There. In, I wonder, like, what? Why is it he could see? Bran when when other people and now we know that uh, Ned Stark well, it, not like he heard him. But that's because he yelled at him. But, you know, no one else typically sees him. I wonder why the White... Why, why. Well, maybe because the White Walkers were created by the children of the forest. Mm-hmm. And they are the original, like, green seers or whatever. Maybe. Right. Maybe that has something to do with it. Who I, knows? I've also heard a theory that maybe the Night King is actually a Stark. So maybe, you know, being, you know, Stark can see Stark. Oh. Huh. Yeah. It's something I've heard. I don't know. I don't know. I he, just keep my ears open. That's all. Hmm. Definitely didn't look like a friendly welcome, though. It wasn't no. like a nephew. Yeah. <laughs> and let me just say that I never want to rule the Iron Islands. Ever. No. And, oh, you know, you have man. to basically be drowned. Yeah. Urine, <laughs> we'll yeah. call him. Urine got, I mean, that, that's hor- one of my two biggest fears are, are heights and drowning. So there's too many mountains there, yeah. and there, and you have to drown to become king. So when they're like, who here wants to be king? You'll see me go, y'all got this. Step back yeah. and let y'all battle this out. I'm with the uh, the majority here. Yeah, and he calls out. He's like, you know, you don't even have a dick. Talking yeah. about Theon. <laughs> yeah. He was, but mine is huge, and I'm going to use it to to fuck Daenerys. I don't make think her my she's, queen. God, that poor girl has had so many. My dick is big, and I'm going to do you with it. Mm-hmm. Remarks yeah. thrown at her than any character I've seen in this show. Yeah. Thus far, Blondes have more fun. You know? <laughs> uh, we didn't see anything about. Um, you know, we didn't see anything with the Lannisters or uh, the House Tyrell yet, but I feel like we're going to see that next week. We're going to see them finally confront the High Sparrow. Yeah, um, I think that was in the preview for the next episode. You see them conspiring some more. Mm. Like Muha. <laughs> it's like, that's pretty much the Lannisters. It's, it's like, what's their role in this? They conspire. I swear, though, man, going back to the Iron Islands, I'm glad Yura did not just bend over and be like, all right, I'll, I'll be your, like, sea captain or whatever. If we, if we got to get behind you, we got to get behind you. She, oh, yeah. she grabbed a bunch of ships and ran off to sea. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, she's still got a pretty loyal following, which is... Well, the thing is, too, yeah. though, he was, like, not enough to run, but how, I mean, how fast does he think that they're going to build a thousand That's ships? That's what I'm saying. I mean, you know, yeah, he's like, really. she can run, but blah, 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 can save her. It's like... I mean, I'm pretty sure a thousand ships is going to take you like a year. I mean, you don't have I'm, factories. I'm like and, five years from now, we will be hot on your heels. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what, what were there like a good twenty people behind him? Yeah. It's like all of you go back, build yeah. me a thousand ships. I mean, you got like, build yeah. them, launch them. Jeez. One day, <laughs> if the elements don't, yeah. we will get her. Um, poor Theon, man. I mean, they're going to take something else from. I saw a good meme where it's like, uh, you know. Uh, uh, which well, I had something to say about Jon Snow too, but it's like Jon Snow got his life back, and then it's like Arya got a sight back, and it's like hold on, Theon. <laughs> yeah. um, Jon Snow definitely looks 
a lot less sure of himself. Which I mean, I guess it's because they're going to war. But if you notice, like now, and I guess it's you know, like like Brianne said, given his circumstances, obviously. But you can definitely tell he's shaken. Yeah, you know, doesn't seem quite as, as sure of himself. I guess once you die and come back, you're just like, I don't know anything. Yeah, and, and Sansa might be a little overly confident. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, she, yeah. You know, like like we said last time, it's like, yes, let's let's take back. I'd be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. you ain't taking back nothing. You're going to sit mm-hmm. in the carriage like 100 miles from the battle, roll in and be like, we won. Do you think what Littlefinger told her is, is true or no. do you think it's a setup? I don't trust anything Littlefinger says. I, I think he's got the girl's like best interest at heart. I didn't think he, I, I don't think he knew Ramsey was quite the monster that he is. I think he's he like he's did. brutal to his enemies, but he's probably a loving, nurturing husband. I think he did. I mean, there's no way. I mean, I mean no, he absolutely. He did. straight up said, you know, I mean, he they flay, they flay people. You know, who wants to? Who, you know, he flay knows their that. enemies, not their wives. He, he couldn't have known that. Theon, um, uh, not Theon. Excuse me. Ramsay feeds his own people to his hounds. Well, I mean, when they yeah. step out of line, sure. Well, see, Sansa was almost like she was trying to catch him. She was trying to catch him. Mm-hmm. She was like, what else do you think he did to me? And he was like, "How did he cut you?" <laughs> and uh, like, I don't, I don't know. Did he cut you? <laughs> but uh, he did. You know, obviously, she definitely got stabbed. Obviously, little finger. <laughs> <laughs> By his wiener. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> obviously. Um, Littlefinger being in the brothel business, I'm sure heard about all about Ramsey's mm-hmm. uh, perversions. Yeah, I don't trust much of anything Littlefinger says. I honestly wouldn't have been disappointed if she was just like killing Brian. Been mm-hmm. like, woo. So, what do you guys think about Sansa not telling John that she had that little sit down with uh, with Littlefinger? I mean, it's, it's interesting to see how it's going to play out because I mean, like she's falling for the the. I, I feel like it's the setup. I feel like it's the trap. I, I don't know. I don't see how that would really like advance Littlefinger's interest, though. Well, if Sansa's threatening to kill him, then it you know almost better to eliminate her, you know, as soon as possible. Yeah, but he knows she wouldn't do that. And like po- to me, everyone's like, you know, Sansa doesn't fully trust John. That's why she didn't tell him. I'm thinking she didn't tell him because she doesn't want John to kill Littlefinger. She still loves Littlefinger. The oh minute, no, yes, she does yes, not love does. Littlefinger. No, she does. The minute does she not. got that scroll with his emblem on it, she could have been like, "Hey, John, Littlefinger's down here in the barn. Let's go run up on him." But she didn't. She went, and I mean, yeah, she's upset, but she's she still got feelings for him. I don't. Well, mm. I mean, I, I don't. I don't think she loves Littlefinger. I, th- I don't think that she doesn't trust John. I mean, she has no reason to not trust John. But um, she still withheld that information, that's which true. is interesting. I'm wondering why she did. She maybe maybe Littlefinger. she's trying to play it smart. Maybe she knows, like, if she tells John Littlefinger's here and what all that he, that went he down, won't believe that, it. right? And he'll want to go down there and kill him, or won't believe what he says. And she, maybe maybe Sansa's is smarter than we're thinking right now. Like she knows Littlefinger has got his hands and everything, and it's best to keep him alive and keep him thinking that you're on his. You know, keep, so you can keep getting information out of him. You she know was also I mean? she also seemed very proud of herself. It's like, how did you know that? Well, I saw. A, a Raven Scroll that Ramsey I don't know. Got. I just know shit. And then she's like, <laughs> and then she gives that little shit eating grin. You know, yeah. like, don't worry about it, John. <laughs> Why don't you know something every once in a while? But so they're building a little army, getting ready to. Uh, I went through Ramsey's phone and saw his text. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I uh, and we didn't see Ramsey any of this episode, which I'm not going to say I was disappointed with. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm so ready to see him. If you had to pick a character right now, like one character to die. And you could decide how they died. Who would it be? Who do you want to die on this show more than anybody else? Oh, jeez. Mm. Would it be Ramsey? I mean, like it, it almost has to be, kind of, sort of. Like for me, I don't know. Would it be? Because they really they kind of killed off a lot of the villains, yeah. Per se. Um, I, for I wouldn't mind like, seeing Urin go. You don't like Urin? No. High Sparrow. He's another king. Yeah, High Sparrow. Yeah. For me, it'd be Brant. Like I said, Brant's just a fly in the ointment for me right now. I, he is on my list, grabbing that root when he shouldn't have been grabbing that root. <laughs> I don't like it. Just going around grabbing roots all over the place. That's what I'm saying. If I'm asleep and you come over and grab my root because you want to go back in time, that, that ain't going to work for me, pal. That's all I'm saying. Keep your hands off my root, Brant. We should make shirts out of that. Keep your hand off my root, Brant. Well, he asked him too. You know, am I ruined? He's like, now it's time for you to become me. Did, did he touch you? <laughs> where Where did the bad man touch yeah. you? Um, you had us like South Park. His was, mark is on you now. <laughs> My uncle Billy did that to me once. Um, but he asked him. You know, he's like, well, when he told him it's time to become you. Now, a lot of people I've seen have theories that maybe Bran was the three eyed Raven. 
And like he's got his younger self trying to prevent the actions that caused all of this. But who knows? Man. But now he's gone. He got chopped up, you know, with an icy Time weapon. Time travel is so sticky. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's it's almost There's so many paradoxes you have to yeah, get around. Exactly. Yeah. I don't I mean, you know, it's it, it definitely seems like things that brands doing are setting things in motion for how they're happening now. You know, well, I mean, do you think do you think uh, as far as like. Do you think the Three-Eyed Raven put Brad in that situation back in time because he knew that that was going to happen and that needed to happen? Right. It could have been that he, it needed to happen or maybe he wanted to give himself the chance to not do what was going to happen, you know? Yeah. Damn, kid, this is what happens when you trust children <laughs> with powers. You know what I mean? They couldn't give this to a, ni- like a nice, rational 40-year-old, you know, a guy that's been through life and is like... <laughs> I've done it all, you know, and it's like, don't touch the root while I'm asleep. Oh, you got it, man. I don't worry about it. No, they have to give it to like a freaking 12 year old who's definitely going to be like, oh, I'm grabbing that root yeah. when you're, you I mean, know. If, you, if you're going to grab my root, at least kiss me on the neck first. Right. So buy me a fun. drink. Damn. <laughs> Wake me up. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> um, don't close your eyes. <laughs> stop giving children superpowers. <laughs> it's just not, uh, not appropriate. But uh, so, yeah, we've got uh, definitely got some stuff going on with Bran. Uh, let's see who else did. Because, of course, you know, with Game of Thrones, it's so back and forth because some characters you don't see episodes. Some you do. Um, we've got John and Tormund and uh, everyone riding off. Yeah, I mean, like and we see that Tyrion's plan has worked for the time mm-hmm. being. Um, the, there haven't really been any more killings since he made the deal with the slavers. Yeah. So for whatever whatever it's worth, at least temporarily they have found uh, at least a fragile piece right yeah i Tyrion's the man Tyrion is just the man I such dr- a wise <laughs> he's a great deal maker. i drink and i know i stuff. drink and i know yeah. things <laughs> i mean yeah he's just the man um it's what they do is that how daenerys is gonna see it though when she gets back i think once I she think so. sees what he's done and there's been no more killings and, and all of that i think she's gonna be like okay okay so my brother who i don't know is my brother yet is wise because I'm still I'm still on the Jon Snow, um, you know I'm still on. Can we talk about the play because that oh, was man. pretty freaking amazing. Well, at least we know actors got action back then too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, see, you know, you know, Arya is going through her training some more, and she's getting her ass kicked. Oh yeah, yeah. But uh, finally, I guess um, Jaqen Hagar gives her the the poison, and uh, to go after Lady Crane, right? Yeah, the actress. Yeah. Yep. She goes to see the play. Uh, I, you know, I Robert honestly, Baratheon getting the horn in the butthole <laughs> like that was sounds pretty great. Um, pretty spot on portrayal there. Yeah, <laughs> they they portrayed uh, kind of. You can see it, Arya is is still not a uh, faceless. Right? No, person. she's still yeah. It's a good she's, point. I didn't think about she sees, that. Yeah. She sees her father being portrayed as a dum dum, mm-hmm. and she's like. <sighs> No, I, I don't see her fully immersing in. No, all that. no, no. I think this is just going to get her as badass as she needs to be yeah. for the events. She's going through like ahead, a weird you know? religious out- well, adolescent well, that, phase. That other girl calls her Lady Stark, mm. and uh, and Jaquan is like, well, she has a point. No. Yeah. Well, nobody. What? None of the servants thus far have been from like royal. They've blood. all been, they've they've all been, been like pro servants, slaves. Slaves. Oh, yeah. 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 So she's the first. No, I don't think that she'll stay there. I think she's too strong minded. To fall in line with something like that, you know what I mean. She's got too many scores to settle. She's not going to let go of all that now, beef. Question: Just to do their bidding. Arya escaped before uh, Eddard was killed, right? Well, she escaped right after because she was in the crowd when he got his head chopped okay. off, and Homeboy was like, "Come with me," and yeah. made her up to be a boy. But she doesn't know about um, what happened to Sansa, though, right? Mm. Mm. No, I don't think she has any. She doesn't have my. Mm-mm. Poor thing. She's just been kind of in the dark with all of it. Yeah. She didn't I know hope she, she was so, I mean, did, did she learn some new information with that play? Though? That's the that's what I was wondering. Good point. Yeah. We know that she knew her father got beheaded, but it, it really kind of stopped after that, right? How far did they go? They beheaded the... They beheaded... Um, the, Ned. The, they did beheaded Ned, and then... How no, far t- did the Tyrion po- married uh, Sansa? Now, see, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think know. she knew that, yeah. yeah. God, so now she might think Tyrion is a is a evil, evil yeah. douchebag. When in fact Tyrion was like the most gentle, loving man <laughs> that Sansa's yeah. ever had. I bet she's looking back now compared to uh, you know compared to her most recent ex, mm-hmm. and she's like Ramsay, and she's looking back at Tyrion, going, "I had it so good. Yeah, he didn't rape me on my wedding night." 
Oh, man. But, yeah, it's um, – so Sansa, do you think she's calculated enough or do you think she's getting a little too cocky? I think she's – yeah, she's a little too big for her britches. I you think, think so? Uh, yeah, I think she's just kind of... I, I think she learned a lot from Littlefinger. Her time with Littlefinger served her well. Oh, you have sure. a man crush on Littlefinger Look, over there, JP. I, I identify with him, you know. I love his Van Dyke mustache and goatee. Um, <laughs> I just I think he does what he needs to do to get things done. Mm. Do what he does to get things done. I, I like the character, but I mean, as far as, you know, I mean, he's a douchebag. He's, he, he's, he betrays people. Seemingly a douchebag. Seemingly. <laughs> right. What if at the very end you find out like everything he's done has been for the greater good? I think he's got a master plan. Right, no. I th- and he just went from rags to riches, too. I like that he's a common man that, you know, is just pulling all these strings now. He's a murderous, murderous manipulating asshole. <laughs> Amen. I mean, who's not murderous <laughs> in this world, though? No, he just has other people murder for him that by manipulating, cool. unless you're unless you're uh, the aunt. You yeah. Know, and he throws you out of the moon door. That little son has gr- puberty. Man is is the biggest enemy of these of these characters. Mm-hmm. You know, like Bran. Mm-hmm. How many how many years do you reckon, or how far into the future is this supposed to be? Since like say, Ned got his head cut off. Um, I mean, I would say at least five six years, maybe. Or is, or is it? Or is it? It seems that way. Because you look like The Walking Dead, and it's like, of course, I mean, obviously puberty. But Carl went from being. Like, I'm assuming it's going along with the seasons in real time. I would, think so. I would like imagine seasons a year. Yeah, I, I guess. But I mean, like summer just just kind of end it, right? We're just now getting winter getting is coming. Winter, yeah, winter. Well, they've is had like years and years and years of summer. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah. like. How how much more summer? You know. I, I don't know. I can't. I really calculate. hate that the Three Eyed Ravens did because I was really getting into like these going back in time. And I, I want to see more of like young well, Ned. Well, obviously, Bran can can do it on his own. Like, uh, uh, yeah. which yeah. I mean, with the horde and everything, but that wasn't really in, back in time. That was just in a different place. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but he knows where the Three Eyed Raven has taken him before, so maybe he's able to travel back to those places that he's been before. I want to go see who was yelling in the tower. Yeah, I mean, exactly. it's like it's still a lot of unanswered questions. Mm-hmm. I really like that. It was making Brand's story, you know, because for a while there, compared to some others, in my own opinion, you know, everybody gets so into this, they'll tear you apart if they disagree with you. You know, Brand's story was just kind of like, eh, it was interesting, but it wasn't like mm-hmm. you weren't sitting down going, okay, what happened to Brand this week? And this season, you know, you really are like really yeah. getting into his story as opposed mm-hmm. to previous seasons. So I really hope they continue to. We got to see uh, Mira uh, kill a White Walker. Yeah, yeah. She uh, she threw that that spear with the dragon glass. Yeah. I guess I would one last. I would stock up on that dragon glass. So the dragon glass that the children of the force used to create the White Walkers looked very similar to the dragon glass that Sam found. Mm-hmm. So, Maybe it's what created them. So, you know, did the the, the children in the forest create it, and then the the first men uh, stole it, stole it from them mm-hmm. or to to fight the White Walkers, or or was it cultivated by both different parties? Yeah, that, that, that would be interesting. Lots of really interesting questions. Well, that's the good thing about this show is it's not lost. You know, it will answer some of its questions <laughs> as it, <laughs> which I love lost. I'm not, you know, but it will answer some of its own. You know, it does. Tend to yeah. catch back up and, and answer some of its questions uh, as we go. I'm really getting into the history, though. It's just so cool to see such a, I mean, well written out history for this show. And that flashback where they're creating the first White Walker in the nice sunny forest was that north of the wall? Was the, the north of the wall used to be a paradise? You think something like that? True that it before, was before really, winter, yeah. yeah before the winter, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it was real lush and green. Mm-hmm. It was beautiful, real nice. That poor fella, I knew something was about to happen to yeah. him. Whenever you're tied to a tree, <laughs> it rarely ends well. <laughs> there aren't many times. And no, if you're tied to a tree and there's no camera rolling, <laughs> odds are you're not going to have a good so time. So does Brant need that magical tree to travel back in time, or you think he can just kind of do it now at will? I think because the roots were intertwined with the Three Eyed Raven. Mm-hmm. So it was almost like he was grabbing the Three Eyed Raven. <laughs> <laughs> he was grabbing his, his, his root. root. He really he uh-huh. really was. And uh, so I think that's how he's able to go back. Magical things happen when he grabbed that big long root. <laughs> yep, he learned a lot about himself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh no, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I I don't know how they're going to do it without Hodor now. So wait, my thing is, who was? And this might be obvious, but I mean, who was? I didn't watch the episode but once. Who was controlling Hodor when he was holding the door? Was that like him? Did he have full control of himself? Like he knew what to do at that point. Yes, I think so. You think like that yeah. wasn't he wasn't being controlled. I don't, I don't think Bran was, Bran was no longer um, 
was no longer controlling him at that point. Right. He was here and hold the door, so he... Damn, that was so sad. It was like literally from the time that he was like a young boy up until the time that he died sacrificing himself to save Bran and Mira. His whole mission in life was to hold the door. Hold the door. And, you know, so like beautiful. a real gentleman. It's like so I said, beautiful. that music playing, man, with the cello, it was oh. God, it was so haunting and sad. The, the, yeah, especially like the, when the credits are rolling and the music's playing during that, too. I mean, it was just like, yeah. it really left you like, you. Uh, that was the last image you saw. And uh, it, was, it was so terrible. It's one of those things where I'm glad I don't watch it with friends. Because <laughs> I could be like, I'm not crying. Are you crying? So do you guys think we're going to see like an undead Hodor now? Like an evil undead mm, Hodor? Oh, my God. Mm. Now, that would really be I didn't think about that. I, I just yeah. really hope that he was just, like, ripped apart. And I mean, that sounds bad. Yeah, but just, how but, dare you? I, here I am sitting here hoping maybe he didn't get that hurt and, <laughs> and ran off. And you're like, I hope he got ripped apart. Just, I mean, I don't want him to come back as, a, as an undead right. and be controlled. By, he, he was he had a heart of gold. Oh, yeah. And he held, he did his job. He held the door. He held the door. That's a strong dude. I mean, there were so many of them on the other side. I feel side like he deserves door. a 21 Hodor salute at this point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it was. Luckily, nobody, nothing spoiled uh, this week. Like, I got on Facebook without thinking because I obviously don't watch them on Sunday night. I have to watch them Mondays. And um, the whole time, I'm like, please, nobody spoil Game of Thrones. But then after I got done watching it, I got on Facebook and I saw a meme where it's like the Johnny Depp hugging the kid thing. And it's like, I now know why he says Hodor. And then it just shows him holding the kid and they're both crying. And I'm like, so freaking true. JP, would you like my last Starburst? Oh, really? I offer it, yes. Oh. See, everybody's such in a, in a, in a warm, loving mood. After, Hodor's after, death he's just inspired, brings you to He's life. inspired all of us to be better people. Be like Hodor. <laughs> just, it's basically just talk less. <laughs> Everyone should be, be like Hodor. And what I mean is just shut the hell up. Hodor. But let's see. Is there anything else that we haven't hit on for this episode? Um, uh, we're kind of with, with Ed, um, the new Lord Commander. Mm, that yeah. guy comes up to him and he's just like, uh, "So should we close the doors, Lord Commander?" And he goes to say, "I'm not the Lord." Oh, he's right. Like, then just yeah, shut the, just shut the door. Yeah, I, I like him as Lord Commander. I mean, he's stuck by John. You know, well, he's I mean, not. He's, he's he's you know, he doesn't even he barely realizes that he's the the guy that everybody's going to come to. Yeah, and so he's just trying to trying to find his place in that role, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like him. Like I said, he stayed. I, like, I really like Sir Davos too. I think he's mm-hmm. he's a good guy. I like him. Um, Sansa also made John like pretty much like a replica of mm-hmm. Eddard's coat. I, when I saw the wolf, yeah. on that. And there's another thing, man. Save the dire wolves. I mean, <laughs> Jesus, how, oh, that's oh, another that thing. Brand's wolf, too. yeah, that sucked. That was so sad because it's like you know what? I know why he was fighting, but it's like at this point, I'm like, just turn around, wolf, and then turn around. I know they have names, but. Uh, it's hard enough keeping up with character names on this show. I can't keep up with all the dire wolf yeah. names either. The only one I can remember now at this point is Ghost, and mm-hmm. that's John's. I'm sitting there watching it like, would my dog do that? My dog will bark and growl at you, but if you run at him, he would just have turned around and ran with us. So <laughs> if we're ever being chased by White Walkers, at least I know yeah. he won't die fighting them. He'll he'll die running behind me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but yeah, man, it, it, a lot of people uh, actually Sansa, ado- in real life, the girl that plays Sansa, adopted the, the dog that played the dire wolf. That mm. was hers. That she's, oh, wow. she's walking with the one I think they ended up killing because of the oh, old. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Joffrey uh, thing, but uh, she actually adopted that dog. I was like, That's so they said that those dogs, which whatever the brand, breed is, have made like a big comeback because so many people want their own dire wolves. Mm-hmm. It's beautiful. I, love I would them. love to have like a, a domesticated wolf. Yeah. Oh yeah. Those things are they're hard to domesticate though. I mean, they're so yeah. smart and they know they know they can f they can screw you up. Mm-hmm. So you know, it's it's really hard to control a beast like that. It'd be like taming a dragon. I've, I've heard they've made some breakthroughs, though, but I mean, I guess it's still unpredictable. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's like the people that have, that have the pet tigers. Some of them, you have them your entire life and they're loyal pets, and some of them rip your neighbor's face off. You, just, then, have to, you just have to be the pack leader. You have to sh- establish dominance. <laughs> dominance. As, dominance. As uh, Caesar Milan would say, dominance. <laughs> 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 Uh, I'm trying to think. Is there anything we've left out? I think we've covered most of the big points of this episode. Uh, we know Daenerys, you know, uh, really her story didn't 
move much further other than her forgiveness, right? We saw the, the forgiveness and go find a cure. But, I mean, mm-hmm. other than that, it pretty much was. She's got to know that banishing him, I mean, she's the one pretty much responsible for his condition. See, that's what, that's what think, she's so yeah, upset. I think she's, that's she why. She apologizes. Yeah. She's like, I'm so sorry. You you know, know, it's, it's, she, realizes, she thinks it's her fault, you know. It's it's fun watching her grow, you know, like yeah. as and not even trying to be perverted. God, I'm just you know, just <laughs> waiting for JP to be like, yeah. Uh-huh. Um, but you know, I mean, like you see, like when she found out, her first reaction was just, "I have to banish you." And now she's able to look past that and realize you've saved my life twice. You know, uh-huh. you this guy is the real deal. I mean, he, you know, it's, I've banished you twice. You've come back twice, and you saved my life. Yeah, twice. beautiful man. It sounded just like Daenerys, nope. just without the boobies. Yeah, <laughs> the real boobies too. Well. Um, let's see. So we've covered that. Uh, we're. I can't wait to see. I'm hoping that we see the the Tyrells and Lannisters uh, confront yeah. the High Sparrow. Yeah, that's it, one part I'm really looking forward to. In, in the preview for the next episode, um, we see Sam and um, Gilly, and they're they appear to be at Sam's home with his father. Hmm. And there's a line that Gilly says, like, they don't know that I'm a wildling. Have you told them that I'm a wildling or whatever? And mm-hmm. so and then you, you just see what appears to be what I can what we can assume to be uh, Sam's father just looking like an asshole. Right. <laughs> typical, typical parents, which maybe. I mean, like he he already told him he was like, you know, get the hell out of my house and go to the, the wall. <laughs> Damn, dad, I just because, came from the because, wall because you'll never be a man, <laughs> more or less. Yeah. Poor Sam. Yeah, um, that, my, my parents are just these days are just not accepting of wildling lovers. You know, no. mm. we need to we need to we need to raise awareness for the wildlings. Yeah. <laughs> They're people too, damn it! Regardless of which side of the wall that they come from, the heart wants what the heart wants, and that's it. Wildlings matter too. <laughs> there you go. Um, but yeah, I think we've covered most of it. I'm sure the the absolute diehards are showing him like, what about blah, 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 blah. Remember, we just like to talk about it. We don't get paid to do this, so we don't have all day and night to sit down and make these like awesome notes. I wish we had a teleprompter and, yeah. you know, had a full day to watch it probably three or four times and they had taken all these crazy notes and stuff. But so we just enjoy talking about it. And if you enjoy the conversation, click subscribe. Um, and also, don't forget, we have a Walking Dead podcast, we do. the Podcasting Dead, which we will be actually doing our last one for this season until August. Oh, so Fear the Walking right. Dead comes that's back. That's right. Um, it's so a good go time. find that, subscribe. Different Matt, but still, uh, it's still a good time. I still say <laughs> what we need to do is we just need to have, we need to set up like some WWE type stuff. Like, yeah. let's just have one Matt. We won't let anybody know which one it's going to be. One of you just be sitting in here and it's like, from the corner, it's <laughs> the other Matt. <laughs> No. He hit him with the headphones, you know. But uh, you know, it, it goes subscribe. Two to mats that. in or one mat emerges. <laughs> <laughs> Business is about to pick up. <laughs> oh my god! Still cold. Still cold. <laughs> Find our Facebook, like it. Um, we haven't done as much with that yet, but uh, go find it, like it, subscribe here, and share this with folks, guys. I think that's the gist of the episode. We think. Pretty much, yeah. Did we hit the high notes? I think we got. Every, I think we covered just about everything, and even the low notes. I mean, I brought up the genital warts. I think all yeah. all there's left to do is uh, to rate it. Um, let's see. I I'm going to give this episode a good eight and a half, just because. I really, you know what? I'm just going to say a nine, just because. Mm-hmm. It just keeps getting better. Like I like that they, they, they they're answering questions, they're explaining things, they're keeping the story. Mm-hmm. It's going at a steady pace. I don't feel like it's dragging too bad. I'm gonna give it a nine. I'm very impressed with this season, as I have been every season yeah. prior. That's that's kind of where I'm sitting too. I mean, we the Hodor thing was resolved. Oh yeah, yeah. And it it's I've been begging for it ever since we saw that Willis, you know, <laughs> yeah. could, could talk and. I've been begging for it, and then I, I, I kind of got what, I, what like. I, I got what I wanted, even though it wasn't quite uh, the way that I would like for it to have Right, happened. I and, wanted to see her. Yeah. And that's what I'm liking is is you didn't have to wait too long. Like you, they they showed it, and they didn't mm-hmm. make you wait. Like some shows will make you wait a whole like two seasons to find it out. Like they show it to you, they give you an episode or two between, and then the hard reality just yeah. slaps you right in the face. Very true. But uh, I would I would like if it's okay to do a 21 Hodor salute. Okay, so we're going to all do this? We'll all say it seven times. I bet you anyone outside of the studio is like, what in the hell is going on in that room? Okay, who's going to help keep count? Here we go. All right. Hodor. 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 
Hodor, 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 Hodor. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. A good I feel off. all warm fuzzy inside. Salute. We're going to feel stupid if he's actually still alive. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I bet you he'll appreciate it. You know. But, uh, yeah, so so what would you give it out of, out of 10? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm sitting around uh, 9, 9.5. I just... Uh, I, I just can't. Uh, I just. I, I was really upset that Hodor died, but I thought it was a great episode. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We learned uh, so much, of, especially about him. At least their deaths in this show are mean. It's not his like his was you know, definitely meaningful, right? Yeah. Like they don't just a lot. Some care, you know, majority of the important characters they don't just kill off just for the sake of saying, "Oh, we." I mean, it's always usually some higher meaning, uh, mm-hmm. and especially with Hodor's JP likes to be different and you go with stars instead of numbers. Oh yeah, yeah. I I don't see any reason not to give it five stars. There you five, go. I mean, I I was satisfied in every sense of the word yeah mm. there you go nine nine go. nine and a half and five stars yep uh well i look forward to next week's i do and i don't because every week that passes we're, there's only what 10 episodes a season so i mean yeah we're we on five six left. we don't yeah i just uh, tell them that we want them to be get on the program like the walking dead pump out like 16 mm-hmm. 17 episodes a season and i mean the the previews for the next episode were pretty brief, mm. so something crazy. I was probably gonna say it's one of those something crazy yeah. could be happening. Nope. It's just like if they show you any part, it could spoil it. Mm-hmm. Well, that's awesome. I can't wait to see you guys next week. I'm Justin. I'm Matt. Oh, and I'm JP.